what is going on today i'm going to show you guys how to make a real cover once again out of the beer koozie this time on the avid hxj52 i'm gonna do this one for my uncle also i want to film this one for you guys because i know in the last video i said for size 30 reels and smaller it's a lot easier because you're able to just slide the koozie right over it i want to show you guys how to make one for this to show that you can make them for the bigger reels as well you're gonna need a couple koozies for the bigger reels to start things off cut the seam out so it's unsafe stitch later on the rail drew a circle around it you want it to be a little bit bigger he said he wants a wd-40 cover so what we're gonna do is go blue wd-40 on the front black on the sides so if you didn't know i have a sponsor and it is called mom and dad so they noticed in my last video with the making of the beer koozie that i was doing it all by hand they were kind enough to go out and get me a sewing machine so that might make things a lot easier we're gonna go ahead and put this thing to use and find out if it helps out i would love to have a legitimate sponsor at some point but that's further down the road we don't have to talk about that anyways let's get back to this now we're gonna unstitch this real koozie you get your scissor underneath one of the stitches and just cut it when you're able to do that it just kind of undoes itself opening up see now we have wd-40 square we also have this plain blue on the back cut the circle off all right all right all right no, it's perfect. I just can't do that because I suck. I'm going to lay this flat so the back is to back. You want to make sure the tobacco is a back, guys. <laughs> Keep it really tight so that it, one doesn't fall away from you. So you're going to go really slow. Just do a couple stitches. Grab this thing. Go backwards. That ties your under stitch in. And you'll do that again at the end. Would you look at that, y'all? That literally would have taken me like two and a half to three hours just to stitch these together. But with my mom's backup called for reinforcements, we were able to get it done in like 30 seconds. Good job, mom. If you guys haven't seen her, a part of the crew yet, her and Elaine were welcome to the crew a couple weeks ago. My mom caught her first yellowtail ever. And on her first day yellowtail fishing, she caught five I yellowtail. limited out. She caught her limit. I limited out. Not a lot of people can do that. And they were big grade yellow tail, 20 to 23 pounds. That was average that day. The big ones were like pushing 2830s. It was a really good day. She just happened to be there on the very right day. All right, that's off topic. Let's get back to this video. We decided it is too hard to try to stitch this circle onto a straight piece on the sewing machine. So that leaves it up to me. Got to do the rest by hand. Just got to stitch these three things together and it should hopefully be all done. You just got to always make sure that circular piece is always right on the edge of the square piece that you cut out. And the further you get into this, the more you'll feel it start bending on you, getting that curve that you're looking for, and just really starts taking its shape. I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not, but what I do, like I was saying, keep the edges close to each other. Just go through each of them, your needle, pull out, you leave a little bit of loop left. I don't know if you can see that, and I take the needle and run it through that loop, and then I pull tight. As you can see, it's starting to get that curve. It's starting to bend. The closer and further you get, the more it's gonna wanna pull away. And this edge wants to stay straight as this one keeps on coming down. And that's why I was saying you just gotta keep those edges perfect. And you keep them nice and even like that, and that's what's gonna help you get that nice cylindrical shape. To end it off, you go through the loop twice. And then you pull, cut your thread. There we go, guys. Flip it back out. We're almost there. So I took that other circle and cut like a... Looks like a Pac-Man now. I think it's gonna sit like that. I want this thing to be perfectly centered. I want it to be right about there. Singe the excess. Flip it back out. Now all we need is to put a Velcro strap in here to here. You didn't see what I just did because my camera died. Here's what I did. I stuck that on there, stitched all around the perimeter of it. I don't have the backing to the Velcro, but the beer koozies, the back of them grips really well. 
on Velcro. Right here, this top side has the Velcro, and this bottom side is what we're gonna be stitching. So we wanna see about how close we want it to be. So I'm gonna cut it about here, and then I'm gonna stitch it onto this side. Go all the way till there's about an inch of thread left, till there's a little loop there. You go once through the loop, twice through the loop, and that's gonna create that knot that holds your thread there, just like that. Now we're gonna just stitch it as we've been doing this whole time. So I'll, I'll go all the way to the end and I'll go back just because this is going to be the part where he's pulling on it to strap it down. It's going to be the part that gets the most abuse. Alright, so I got to the end and now I'm going to go back and when I go back I want to go in between the stitches. That way there's twice as much. One last stitch, a little loop. Go once, go twice, cut your thread off, singe the excess, and you have made yourself a real cover. There you have it, there is a custom WD-40 reel cover. As you can see, it covers up the entire reel, all but the handle. All right guys, there you have it. That's how you make a real cover out of a beer koozie. If you wanna see more of my DIYs and how to's, click on this playlist right here. If you think you wanna see more of my channel, click right here to subscribe. And if you wanna see that video that my mom and I were talking about, about her being welcome to the crew, reeling in some big yellowtail, click on this video right here. Stay tuned for next time.